if you're just walking up to chicks and just paying paying for drinks up front, you know, as the conversation starter, you already lost, bro. <laughs> and you're the one that's getting pimped out here. You, what is going on? We are back. Thanks for stopping by, guys. So it looks like in the year 2023, we still have the misconception that men are just buying drinks for women. You know, women they don't know, they've never met before. Women they have no background checks on. Let's go ahead and check, take a look and see what this woman has to say about the current experience as a woman when she goes out to bars, clubs, when she hits the casino. Let's see what it's like. See, I'm about to go out and, you know, it's Saturday night. I'm feeling sexy. I'm feeling like I look good. My hair is freshly washed and pressed. But you ain't gonna believe this. Wait, wait, wait. You're not really finna believe this. Ain't nobody finna talk to me. I mean, like, not one man is gonna step to me and say, what's good, ma? Like, not one man, not one man is gonna have the gall to come push up on me and offer to buy me a drink. And you see, I don't understand why I be getting so fine because who am I doing it for? Okay, so I had a homie, right? And I ain't going to put him out there and say his name. But when we went out to bars and clubs, bro, he stayed bad girls drinks. And a lot of times, if you ever went to a club, especially in a popular city, um, they travel in packs, bro. Like, girls don't go out by themselves. They have girls' nights, right? So it'll be them, all their friends. They'll have their heels. They'll put the heels in the center of the circle. And then they'll just be dancing. And they'll just be dancing. And then here come y'all dumbass. What's your name? Can I buy you a drink? And then so what happens is you walk over to the bar with her so she can get her drink, right? And guys, there's nothing wrong with doing things for ladies, okay? This is actually the, one of the best ways for you to, to keep a woman <laughs> and also one of the best ways to get a woman. But yeah, so she, you know, she takes her drink and then she goes, thank you. And then you try to talk to her some more and you know what she does? She takes the drink and she runs back to the circle with her friend. Me, me. <laughs> Or maybe you might get a good conversation going and then one of the friends, you know what type of friends that do this, come goes ahead and drags her from you or pulls her from you and she's like, no, no, she's with us, she's with me, no, 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 no. And then so she pretty much just blocks you, right? She blocks you. <laughs> she blocks you from, from conversating, getting to know the girl and it's just a hot mess, but let's, let's continue. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not doing it because I got a husband at home and I want him to think I look sexy, okay? So if you see me out and you know, you feel like you're a good candidate for me, you know, like, and I would feel like you're a good candidate for me also, holler at me. Otherwise I'm gonna go home by myself again tonight. <laughs> She's cl clearly joking about, you know, her crying. She's fake crying she knows god dang well she got a phone full of dudes that she's ignoring and i'll give it to her you know she's not too bad looking uh she's a little bit older i think she looks up she looks over 30 for sure but like there's nothing wrong with being single you just have to be able to manage it well and you have to be able to master the art of being alone it's not as easy as it may seem but i'm gonna wake up single tomorrow again <laughs> damn See, so it looks like that's the end of the video here. And yeah, man, like, unfortunately, this is the reality of many women that go out. They're expecting drinks. They're expecting flowers or gifts or, you know, to be to have some money spent on them. Right. Which I'm all for. I'm not saying that shouldn't happen. We should treat women lovely and like the beautiful creatures they are. But right <clears throat> When you're out in public, man, you don't know what these women got going on, right? There's nothing worse than like buying drinks for a woman, buying a woman dinner, and you, you talk, if you find out she has a boyfriend, you find out she's not even interested in you, you find out, you know, she your her schedule doesn't work with yours, <clears throat> and there are so many different reasons as to why it might not be compatible. So you put all your money up front, you know, you buying these fifteen dollar drinks, especially with inflation these days, dog. That is dead. Okay, I'm about to buy you a fifteen dollar drink so you can laugh. And walk away to your friends. I finessed him. I got over on him. Yep, I got me a free drink, girl. And then so now, like, yeah, you're pretty. Yeah, you're fine. But you're like kind of skeezing off of dudes all night, pay, getting your drinks paid for, getting your food paid for. And then you go home with none of them, right? Now, it's a little different if you've already been talking and conversating or dancing with a guy and you guys hit it off. Then, yeah, go ahead. By all means, buy her a drink. Buy her drinks for the rest of the night. If she's hanging with you and it's just strictly fun, you don't want to be out here trying to get her blacked out so you can take advantage of her. But, yeah, if y'all two are just having a good time and you just met each other and she seems chill, there ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? But if you're just walking up to chicks just paying, paying for drinks up front, you know, as the conversation starter, you already lost, bro. <laughs> and you're the one that's getting pimped out here, like for real. But 
But yeah, man, Dayton's pretty difficult in the year 2023 because they have to compete with social media. You have, and, and these dating apps, you have all of these dating apps, you have all of these social medias, and you know she has them too. Like, let's not play ourselves. You know her inbox is flooded, especially after releasing this video. Her stuff is going crazy. Tinder, Hinge, Bumble going bananas. Facebook dating, uh, you know, and not even to mention uh, seeking arrangements, which is like, you know, where you exchange good f goods for services, if you know what I mean. So, you know, she has all of these options and to, to find men, to find men that will pay for her stuff. So she has she has the options available, but she wants to, you know, get all dolled up, go out and have the luxury of men just complimenting her, have the luxury of men paying for drinks paying for her food you know so she can feel pretty and appreciate it i'm gonna be honest with you those days are over um men are really starting to wise up as far as like how much time effort and energy you we are wasting you know on just a cold approaching chicks like cold approaching a woman can be dangerous because you don't know if her man's around the corner you might get embarrassed in public Ooh, i don't want you you dusty you crusty you ain't got no money you drive a <clears throat> you drive a toyota camry where your bmw at why would i want to be with someone like you and now you in a car crying on the way home because you got your fifis hurt like it's, it's just not worth it the juice is not worth the squeeze and i ain't gonna lie you know before before I met my girl, I used to cold approach chicks, and I had some, I had some pretty good some pretty good success at it because you know I was tall, dark, handsome, and your boy was on swole swole. Like what you see now is nothing compared to how I was built like six years ago. Like I used to be freaking looking ridiculous. Your boy was shredded. But, you know, never under any means would I buy a woman a drink up front. And now that I think about it, I can't think of a single time that I bought a woman a drink. Not once. It just don't make no sense. But but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are here in the comment section below. Um, you know, the dating dating isn't what it once was. Dating was once very simple. It used to be cookie cutter. Um, now it's very confusing. It's very difficult for men because, you know, these women like put themselves up on on this pedestal, you know, and men kind of don't want to deal with that. Like, that's a lot of effort. Like, I got work in the morning. Some dudes have two jobs. I'm trying to hit the gym. Like, I got stuff to do, shorty. I don't got time to be stroking your ego. Um, you know, are you interested or not? Why, well, you know, and now we have gender equality, right? We have gender equality. So how come women don't be approaching men? That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying, you know? Um, and I feel like their attempt would go a lot smoother, even if they get rejected compared to a man, you know, because if, if a woman approaches a man, he's not interested, he'll just tell her she's not interested. You know, there will be no, no embarrassing, you know, jokes or comments or snickering, um, even if the homies are around, you know, like we try to keep it cool and keep it respectful. But women, I've seen women tear a dude apart for trying to, you know, to holler at her and hollering at women's pretty dead, man. Like, especially nowadays with this Me, Me Too movement, you could really catch a case, uh, you know, for simply speaking with a woman, having a few drinks, you know, you're dancing with her. And then, you know, you never know. They make a case out of anything, you know. And I'm not saying that, you know, women shouldn't be heard, heard, heard and, and, and be taken seriously when they make these um, allegations and when they start these uh, investigations on what happened. But it's like when you have the slogan, believe all women, that's kind of dangerous. And what I mean by that is if you believe all women, nothing is 100 percent. So what about the two, three, five, seven percent where they're just capping, you know, are they're uh, over exaggerating what happened? And it's not the case, you know, and I'm not saying that that stuff doesn't happen because it obviously does. People be getting a Bill Cosby on out here, but it's it's food for thought, man. Let me know what you guys think. And it's a shame, you know, lady's pretty. You know, she hopefully will find a man. Doesn't seem like she's serious about finding a man. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. But uh, but yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Leave your comment section below. Uh, dating in the marketplace and women are still expecting for men to cold approach in 2023 and to buy them drinks. Guys, never start out buying a woman a drink. I don't care how pretty she is. The bomb, the better she is, the more the more likely she has already had drinks bought for her that night. Food paid for her that night. Her Uber paid for her that night. Uh, she she might have everything paid for her already. The prettier she is, the more expensive it's going to be for you, and the tougher the competition. You are so not the only one. Like, please realize, I'm actually glad. Thank God, I'm in a committed relationship. I'm with my girl because dating now is crazy. I'm pretty sure, and I told her already. I was like, after you, I'm done dating because. 
A, because we have a child together, there's nothing that I can give any other woman that I've already given you. And B, um, that's just time suck. Like it really is. And to start all over and, and with these mentalities out here, I'm not trying to deal with you, shorty. I'm not trying to deal with this. This is almost childish, to be honest with you. Like, and to have the audacity to post it is, you know, I don't understand. She could have literally um, got a, uh, what do you call it? A love, a, lo a matchmaker, you know, to find her a man, to meet all of her qualifications for height, how much money she wants, kids she wants. You know, you have to have a certain portfolio, investment portfolio, you know, all these hoops that you want men to jump through can be met and satisfied if you pay X amount of dollars for a matchmaker. And you could pick them. You could pick them like they're puppies in the in the in the litter. <laughs> you know, you could pick your man. You could go to build a man workshop. You know, and that's another issue with this. Everybody, every woman thinks you could just build a man. I want a man that's a millionaire, six feet tall, drives a Camaro. Like, lady, these qualifications are extremely high. No college tuition debt. Uh, he can't talk to no other hoes. It, it, it's just crazy out here. Let me know what y'all think. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.